Hello. Who can say that they are not exposed to stress on a daily basis? Stress can be good for you or stress can be bad for you. We experience both positive and negative stressors in our life. Positive stress can be things such as going on a vacation, winning in the lottery, running a marathon, going out to a party, or having some friends over for dinner. This kind of stress will help you to have good energy and will keep your creative juices flowing. However, today I want to talk about negative stress. This kind of stress can make us sick, causes mental illnesses, and creates negativity and frustration in our personal and professional lives. Have you noticed that our business environment has become more and more demanding and our employers are expecting more for less? We can also be stressed when we are stuck in traffic, when we are late, when we have a confrontation with someone, when we have financial worries, or when we experience difficulties in our personal life. That's usually when we get into a fight or flight response. You have to be aware that these are emotions and these emotions are there to protect ourselves. Critical signs of de-stress may be that your muscles tense up, you get digestive problems, your breathing is a little bit more in the upper chest level, you get bad headaches, a sore neck, sleeplessness, your heart rate goes up and you may start to sweat. The question is, when you experience stress, do you react or do you respond? People continually say to me, but that's the way how I react, I cannot help it. And I say, this is simply not true. Your goal has to be to manage stress more effectively. And that's only possible when you respond to stress on a more conscious level. That's when you start managing stress and when you start acting responsibly to whatever challenge you have to deal with at the moment. Stress really can be triggered when you feel rejected or when you feel that you are not in control or when you experience hopelessness or helplessness. I have heard that stress is like a guitar string. If you have the right amount of tension, you can play beautiful music. But if a string is too tight, then it can snap. This is when people have nervous breakdowns. Here are some simple strategies to manage your stress level by responding instead of reacting. First, every time you feel stress setting in, Stop. Take a deep breath and ask yourself, what is the cause? Is it your need to control everything and everybody? Or maybe you feel hopeless about certain organizational values you don't agree with. Find the cause. Second, notice where you experience stress in your body and what core emotion is being triggered. Is it anger? Is it fear? Is it frustration? Third, think and ask yourself, how can I handle this situation best? And then go ahead and do it. Last but not least, make sure you do some physical activity because that's a great stress reliever. Always remember, excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. And I will see you next week again. Until then, be the best you can be.